you guys! Today is gonna be a first impression tutorial slash review. This is my very first first impressions video ever, so I am so excited to do this. Today we are gonna use the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation and Applicator. This is in the shade Medium Beige. This is the packaging. I already opened it just to look at the foundation. Here is the foundation. It's like a little bottle. Kind of reminds me of a BB cream. Here is the applicator. It's kind of like a silicone rubber material. As you can tell, I have only done my eye makeup today, nothing else for the sake of this video. And of course, this is my very first time using this product ever. Here's the side of the packaging. It says, squeeze a small drop of foundation directly onto applicator. Step two, using applicator, blend foundation all over face, applying in direction of fine facial hair growth. I'm kind of nervous about this because this is a different type of thing and actually it seems like this catches hair easily because it is like a silicone material. So I'm gonna just go ahead and rinse mine off really quickly. Okay so I rinsed off my applicator and it is very clean now, very easy to clean, there's no hair or anything on it. So before I use this foundation, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about it. I've read about it and learned a little bit about it. So this contains optical concealers as well as an Olay skin smoothing serum. And when you use it with this new applicator, it is supposed to smooth away redness or imperfections or anything like that. The coverage is supposed to be medium coverage and it's supposed to give a really natural finish. So we are gonna try this and see how well it works. As you can tell, I have a lot of unevenness in my skin. And this is how it opens up. You just twist it. Just a basic little tube. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit right here at the top. Ugh, I'm so nervous about this. I, I feel like it's gonna be hard, but we'll see how it works. I guess I'll just start right here. Whoa. I guess this is actually my color. It doesn't look like it would be but it matches my neck really well. So far, this is a very strange, very, very strange sensation because I've never used any kind of silicone thing before to apply my foundation. Feels a little slippery, kind. Of, well, it actually doesn't feel that slippery, but when I first started applying it, it felt a little slippery because all of the product is just going on at once, if that makes sense. But once you start to spread it out, it doesn't feel slippery, and it actually, like right here it feels slippery because that's where a lot of the product is, but once you start to distribute it through your face, it starts to not feel so slippery. I've done half of my face. There are little hairs on here. It might just be from my my skin. I might have gotten some fuzzies on my face. I have a cat, so that's probably what that's from. This is how it looks. It's pretty much all clean. So yeah, I kind of like that actually. I like the idea behind it. I feel like with this applicator, I feel like it, uh, how do I explain it? It doesn't, you know how with brushes or a beauty sponge, your foundation gets soaked into the brush or sponge. This doesn't happen with that because it is a silicone. I'm pretty sure it's silicone. I don't know. But either way, with this applicator, it doesn't, as you can see, it the product just glides onto your skin. So you're not wasting any product whatsoever. I don't know if I really like this though, the um, applicator itself, like it's it's kind of time consuming as you can see. I usually just like to do my foundation really fast, as fast as I can do it anyway. Now I just am afraid that I'm going to get it all over my eyebrows. Usually with a brush or a sponge, it's not that big of a deal. Foundation itself leaves your skin nice and soft and it doesn't feel too cakey or anything. I'm gonna use my fingers to go up right above my eyebrows because I, I just don't know about this. <laughs> just finished applying a second layer of this foundation and I like it. It matches my skin almost perfectly. It does give you a nice dewy finish. 
from what I can tell anyway. I would say it is medium coverage. The first time that I applied it, it did seem like light coverage. However, I didn't apply very much at all. I just did like a tiny little dot. The second time I added more than I did the first time and it's definitely medium coverage. I would say, however, that I would still wear a concealer underneath right around this area. Um, although I wouldn't use this applicator because with the concealer I like to dab my foundation over it rather than blending it in or rubbing it in because it wipes away the concealer that I have applied. I would definitely recommend this foundation. It's nice. It's smooth. My skin does feel a little wet but I think that's just because this is a liquid foundation and usually it takes a little while for the foundation to set into your skin. It doesn't feel like really cakey though compared to other foundations, but I am expecting this to dry and feel more skin-like. You can't really, I mean it definitely did help. The foundation definitely did help this area, um, the discoloration. However, you can still, well to me, I can still kind of see it. It might not be noticeable to other people, but since I know about it and I'm really picky about my own skin, I, it's not as concealed as I would like it to be, but um, this is definitely a great concealer. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I just called this a concealer. I meant foundation. This is a great foundation. I would recommend this. Foundation is great, great formula. I love how easy it is to blend. It's probably great with a brush and or a beauty sponge as well. Some of you guys might like this little applicator. Um, it definitely was an interesting experience because it was my first time using it ever, but I, I don't think I would use this because like I said, it's very time consuming, but it does make your skin look really nice. Those are my thoughts on this product. If you guys try this, please let me know what you think about it. Please do let me know what you think about this applicator because I'm really curious and interested in knowing what other people think about it. I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours. What time is it? 3.27 right now. I will check back in a few hours. Okay, so I finished applying the rest of my face makeup. Just wanted to let you guys know that I washed this and it was so easy to wash. You just use warm water and soap and it basically all just comes right off. I will check back in in a couple of hours and let you guys know how everything is going. Okay, so it is now 6.22. It feels kind, I can tell, definitely tell I have foundation on just by touching my face. It doesn't feel too sticky, but it definitely does feel a little bit tacky. But I find that with a lot of other foundations, it feels that way as well. It doesn't feel that bad. Like it's just normal to me. This is a foundation that I would recommend to anybody, especially if you have dry skin because I have dry skin and as I told you earlier, it made my skin look dewy and luminous and it still does look like that as well. I don't have any flaking, no dryness, no nothing. I check in again in another few hours to let you guys know that way it's just, you know, it's been six hours and sorry about the lighting, but just checking in. Okay, so I have to be quiet because Riley is sleeping. It is now 9.36. My foundation is going strong. I honestly don't feel like it feels any different than any of my other foundations, which is a good thing because if it were to feel like more sticky or more tacky, I, I just wouldn't like it. It honestly feels really normal and doesn't feel sticky at all at this point. So, um, I feel like it does kind of take a while to set in, but maybe with a brush or something else it might might blend in more and set faster. Anyway, um, I do recommend trying this product, especially if you have dry skin like I said earlier. It, I mean, my skin looks really good and I'm not even wearing any concealer. So as you can see, no dryness, no flakiness, and I really love the finish that it gives. So I will definitely be wearing this foundation a lot and I give it two thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.